Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we are full lifesteal, Kernanos, and it's taken a long, long time to get this recording out. So first off, could you guys hit that like button to share this video out there? And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe because we are grinding up to that 100K subscriber mark. We got to try it. We got to We got to get there. We got to get there. I don't care how long it takes. We're, we got to get there. The sooner, the better. But we got to get there. That's the point. Dude, we got to get there. All right. I'm going to go try tier 2 trans. No, not trans. Sorry. Devos. Actually, it's only 3% more lifesteal. So, just do this. All right. And then, do do do. I didn't put a point in my one yet, but trust me, the reason I'm doing full life steal, by the way, on Kronos is because you have 15% physical life steal passive. Does way more damage per auto than I do. Just trying to keep him at bay, chat. You know how it is. You know how it is, chat. Oh, he missed. Thank goodness. Oh. All right, not bad actually. Not bad at all. Now we just sit here, melee auto, get that life steal back up there. You know how I'm saying. We got the devos. Go ahead and abuse them. All right, he's got no more health pots. We are looking good so far. We're just. Basically, I'm just trying to sit here and uh, abuse the fact that I have a lot of life steal. That's that's my whole game plan. All right. He jumped. Let's see if we got this. Use this. It's only five more damage, but everything helps. All right, not bad. Not a bad start. This will lead west. Not a bad start. Okay, so we got to get these devos fully stacked. And then once we get these devos fully stacked, then we got to get that Aussie up and running. And then we got to get the Soul Leader. And then we got to get the Blood Forge. And gosh almighty, we'll be healing for more than 100% per auto. We'll figure it out. I mean, I'm sure it's capped, but we're going to figure it out. Ouch. Ouch. All right. All right, sweet. First blood, boys. First blood, boys. There you go. Ah, now let's go straight into Soul Eater. Straight into Soul Eater. So we got the devils. So we're gonna start stacking that, but then we're gonna start stacking the Soul Eater. All right, and now that we've We've passed the very easy or the very difficult beginning phase of the game, which is easily the hardest part of this game. Now I can start being a little bit more analytical, like out loud about what I'm doing and how I'm playing. So 
Basically, I'm maxing the one because I want more lifesteal, obviously. Where is he? Maxing the one because I want more lifesteal. And, uh, yeah, so far we're just trying to keep him down. Keep the man down. Oh, you got power boots. That's big suck, but it's all right. Also, I have a video. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be uploaded tomorrow or the next day. Or Thursday or Friday or whatever. Oh, man. Go ahead, alt me. Alt me. You know you want to. All right, he didn't. He doesn't want it. so much faster oh his boots of course Just a ouch I think I'm dead as shit how much mana does he have I don't want I can't look oh what I was so around the corner dude I was so around it damn it Okay, maybe I do actually need boots. So, hold on. Wait on the lifesteal. Get the boots. We gotta get the boots. Because I would have lived if I uh, if I had boots there. Unfortunate. I could have probably tried to turn and fight, but that's only late game, you know? That's only late game when I can turn and fight that because I got... Oh my god, how did he get there so fast? What the fuck? Because that's when I'll have the uh, the lifesteal. Right now, I don't got no lifesteal. I still got to stack my devos for my lifesteal. Thought that would kill, dude. Oh, if my two hit him, that would have killed. He had to be so close to dying there. All right, let's go get my blue. I don't know when red spawn. Oh, red just spawned right, and he got it. Right. So he's ahead of me. Not quite in gold because I got first blood, but I think he's ahead of me in XP right now, which is spooky. He finished transcendence. He has red buff, power boots, and transcendence. So he's going to be doing about 200 on auto. So basically, I can't fight him. Not going to stop me from trying, though. You, you feel me? <laughs> We got his alt. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Oh, dude. You have been dude. What is this? What is this? Yo, maybe I need Aussie before I need to start stacking. No, because I have to start stacking soul leader or else it's not going to work. Oh, man. Okay. He's probably doing bull demon right now, because that's what I would do if I was him. We're behind in XP by a lot. He's probably like one minion away by from level twelve. Oh man, that did nothing. He's already getting his defense online. Uh. 
Damn. That dude be tanky. Alright. Let's go get that red buff. Red buff just spawned. It's calling my name. Alright. You know, we got the red buff. We got the soul eater. Okay, I lied. That's expensive as shit. I didn't think it was that expensive. <laughs> Oh, those are taken. All right. This blue just spawned. That's what he's doing. It's a really even game so far. He's killed me one extra time, but because I had first blood, it's a really even game. Get that soul leader. Get that thorns. He has thorns too. When he upgrades thorns, that's going to mess me up so much. 50% less lifesteal off of him. But you know what? At least he didn't get cursed talk, you feel me? So far his hide does nothing because I just heal through it. With my lifesteal. I think I can afford to be really aggressive here. Hey. With my lifesteal, dude? I can be aggressive as hell. Oh my. How much am I getting back per auto? 87 per auto, 92, 87, 92. Ooh, baby. That's crazy lifesteal. We're back to full health. One minion wave gave me 1,000 HP. So how much is this? 24% lifesteal there? Okay. I gotta figure out how much lifesteal I have by the end of this game. It's important. Next item is Aussie. He's going Toxic Blade right now. Definitely not scared of him right now. So yeah. So far we're actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm just sustaining up right now and staying in lane for super long. Because I can. Okay. Well, that was his full kit, so now let's get this buff. Oh, is he going for bold even? Nope, he is not. Alright, he backed, so I'm going to back as well. I got my Aussie. We are now at... At peak lifesteal. At peak lifesteal right now. This is 24. This is 50%. 50% plus 24. That's 74%. Plus this, which is 10% lifesteal, which is 84%. And then my passive maxed out, which is 99% lifesteal right now. 99% lifesteal, brother. That's real shit. Does Bold even even do damage to me right now? Soul Eater maxed out. Yeah. So I have 99% plus 15% lifesteal from abilities. Alright. I think I can just do this. Right. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! He did so much- look at that damage! Look how much damage he just did to me, I just healed it up like it was nothing. I'm healing for a hundred in auto, with two stacks of Toxic Blade on me. 40% anti-heal, I'm healing for a hundred in auto. Oh my gosh, that's incredible! Holy shit, dude, this is this is crazy. Even with his toxic blade, I'm still at I'm still at like cap lifesteal. Even though he has toxic blade on me, I'm still at cap lifesteal. I think. I could be wrong, but I think. My lifesteal! Look how much I have, look how much I don't care about him, like, holy shit. Okay, let's go get our red buff again, and then get the Blood Forge for absolute capped out lifesteal. Alright, we got the red buff, now we sell this for Blood Forge. Now, everyone, let me calculate my lifesteal for you. Right here, it says we have 84%, right? It says we have 84%, but that's not true. Because that doesn't include the 30% increase from the Aussie passive. So, right now, we have 100... Hold on, he's looking at me with death in his eyes. He all of me... He has full Toxic Blade, I just got 91 healing. Okay, hold on. So, we have... 84% plus 30, which is 114% plus my passive, which is 129% lifesteal. I have 129% lifesteal. Ask me. Ask me if I take damage. Who needs defense when I can heal it all back in one auto attack? Not to mention. Not to mention. I have 129% lifesteal plus 300 power. That's a lot of power. Look at how much I have to care about him. Two stacks of Devos and I'm healing for 100 in auto. No stacks, or sorry, two stacks of anti-heal I'm healing for 100 auto. No stacks, I'm healing for 94. Or I'm healing for 184. Look at this. Hit me. Hit me, bitch! Oh, you wanna you wanna fight? I'll take your bolt I'll take your tower too. Let's go, bitch! Okay, okay, maybe maybe that was too much. <laughs> maybe that was too much. This Dude, that's wild. This is this is a wild build. And now, now that I have max lifesteal, 129% lifesteal, I can go any item I want to help me win the fight. Now, in most cases, that would be defense. Actually, no. I'm just going to get defense. Because I can. Because, like, this build... I, there's no more lifesteal. Like, if you go to the lifesteal tab, there's four items. I have all four of them. So, like... <laughs> there's no reason for me to... To get anything... Other than this related to lifesteal. Because I can't. It's not possible. The backpedaling continues. Battle of Hunters. Everyone just backpedals. Oh, he got that minion. No, no, I almost got the Phoenix. I cleared his wave, so he can't do anything. I mean, he can get tower, maybe. Uh, no, he can't even get tower. Minion wave hasn't spawned yet. He got red buff and bull demon. That's what he can get. 
minion wave just spawned. It takes 26 seconds for the minion wave to get from the edge of the phoenix to the other edge of the phoenix. So that's how you can determine it. Like, if you kill a minion wave and they have no minion wave for 26, uh, like by 26 seconds of you respawning, then they can't get your phoenix. That's pretty much just how it works. So that's fun. We'll get our hide of the Nemi in here. So yeah, he gets tower, he gets red buff. He didn't do bull demon, which I find a little bit odd, honestly, but that's okay. And then, uh, oh, he did that buff? That's weird, but sure, dude. I'm going to go do bull demon now. He might want to fight me. Okay, he ran away, so I'm going to just pull it back. I don't take damage from the from the thing like most people do. Okay. All right. Well, now that he's gone, I can life steal back off the bull demon. He has to give me it. Alright, so I don't know if many people know this, but you only get 20% of your lifesteal off of Bull Demon. And, uh... I just healed back to full HP off of 300 HP. From the Bull Demon. So that's quite crazy. He used all of his relics. I still have my Bracer. Um, I don't know if it's enough to win a fight. Because, like, Bracer is pretty useless to me right now, honestly. I need him to use his wand and then I can dash on him. Okay, I can go get the Phoenix now for free. Alright, Phoenix down, boys. Ouch. All right, um, I might lose the game off that. I don't know why. Yo, he does a lot more damage than me, holy shit. I hit 10 autos for 1,400. He hit 11 for 2,100. But yeah, he probably wins the game off that. He has two minions, which is enough for him to take the tower because he does have Odibo. So he's got a shit ton of attack speed, which is probably the reason why he's able to kill me, now that I think about it. Okay, that was stupid. What he just did was super dumb. He waited for the minions to walk in before he started attacking. That, honest to God, might have just lost him the game. Alright, so now I just gotta be pretty careful about this next fight. And if I'm able to win it, then uh, we win the game. If not, then I don't know. I cannot fight him. Straight up. Like, I can't fight him anymore. It's too late in the game, and Hoyi's 2 is the best ability in the game, so... Um, well, it's the best ability in the game late game, because he just does so much damage. He's right again. Okay. That hit me, which really blows. Just gonna back up and try to lifesteal. Oh, wow. Dude, that upgraded Thorns actually won in the game. All right. Well, GG. GG. His two is the best ability in the game. I mean, it honest to God is. Like, have, being able to do 6% of their damage, like, it's basically an upgraded Kins. It's basically an upgraded Kins. Uh, maybe he can't win. He really doesn't have H any HP. Oh my god, yeah, he can. Holy shit. Oh, no, he didn't win. 
He didn't win. You're, so you're saying there's a chance. Mid Guardian. This is the comeback we needed. He's probably just going to backdoor though. It's only got 2k health. I wouldn't put it past him to just like jump on it and ult it and shit. Uh, yeah, I don't see him. He's probably doing that. Oh, there, I found him. Oh, that was real. That was a really good ult by me. He's just gonna go in, huh? Probably. Okay. I don't know what I'm finding. Big more in my basket. Uh I don't know he didn't use thorns right there, did he? I don't think he did. Oh, he's just going to go do that, isn't he? He's going to jump past me and ult the, top, the Titan. Damn, dude, I almost was able to defend it if I just had a little bit more attack speed. He's taunting me? Really? Whatever. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video out so you guys can uh, spread the word. Until next time, guys. Peace.